While many celebrated the pop star's performance, which delighted fans at the festival, there were some who took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to vent their feelings over Dua's singing. Some were adamant that she was lip-cinching to the tracks, with one person hitting out in a post, writing, Dua Lipa is 100% miming Glastonbury. Another was upset about Dua's vocals, posting, what a shame Glastonbury has a headline act on that's obviously miming her vocals, while another question, is she actually miming? Glastonbury. This accusation was countered by many fans, who had out at those knocking Dua's singing. One wrote in her defense, no Dua Lipa is not miming. Majority of the main vocal parts are quite clearly live. She's smashing it and everyone on stage look like they're having the time of their lives. Glastonbury. Another added, all these haters saying she's miming. Are you by stupid? She's clearly not. She's killing a Dua Lipa Glastonbury Glastonbury 2024. While Dua set hit the right chord with a majority of people, some of her fans were left wanting as they complained that she left out one of her biggest hits, Barbie's Dance the Night. It was a song that she wrote with Mark Ronson but she hasn't performed the song at many of her previous festival appearances recently and it seems to be a track that she is putting behind her despite being her fourth UK number one in the charts. Speaking about writing the track, Ronson told Variety recently, we rewrote Dance the Night so many times to match the picture. Like, Dua was literally coming up with lyrics, when Margot does that come hither thing with her fingers in the scene. That's when I want to sing Come Along for the Ride, we actually engineered the song almost like a score. Dua shrugged off the furor online about her singing as she spent time with her actor boyfriend Callum Turner, 34, in the VIP area of the festival on Worthy Farm.